So, Charlie, really good to see at the shed, but what yep. I'm even more excited about than seeing you at the bike shed is seeing your bike at the bike shed because I love this. Yeah. Tell us all about the bike. So I was looking at all these different people and had met the down and out guys a few times, you know, here and, 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 and at, at, the, at the bike shed shows down at Tobacco Dock and, and, and stuff. And I absolutely loved all of, all of, all of what they did. And, um, and I love the T120. I love the whole history of the Triumph and where they've come from and how they've developed the bike. And I thought, wouldn't this just be great? with a big fat front tire with what mm. down and out do. I mean, it's a cartoon bike, isn't it? That's yeah. the thing. I mean, what I really like about the down and out builds is on the one hand, proper Northern boys who come from a background of building old school custom bikes yeah. and, uh, and they have to build stuff to a high quality and it has to work and it has to be proper. But what they've done is they've, they've created a bit of a look and it is just like when you're, when you're nine, and you draw a bike on your school book, yeah. you draw this. Yeah, you draw this. And, it's, and, and if, you know, if you wanted a four by four, you would, you would, you would draw the Land Rover. You know, mm. it, it has that kind of iconic kind of feel to it. And you know, they've done a fantastic job. The big changes are, are, the, are the front yokes where they've widened them to put a, 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 rear, uh, a rear size tire on the front. So, so it, and, and they've fitted TKC80. So what you would normally put on the back, they've just stuck on the front. <laughs> so you can go forward or so backwards. So you can go forward or backwards Perfect. and you can change the tires, yeah. you know, like old sunbeams. You remember you could so, so interchange to save money, them. if you wheelie everywhere, which you would never do. No, never. Then when you wear out the back tire, you can just put the front in the back. Exactly. That's and perfect. You know, if you are going to wheelie, always, you know, private property. And Obviously on pri private roads. Private yes, roads, all absolutely. that kind of stuff. But yeah, and so, so they've done that and then they've... The other big thing they do is we, is we change the exhaust system um, uh, and you know, handlebars and then just a lot of little details. We got some wonderful um, suspension from Olin's who, who are now doing um, you know, custom uh, shocks now. So, so you, can, you, you don't have to have them if so, in the, yeah, in the we yellow used to, if you don't Olin's want Olin's is normally about a big yellow spring yeah. and uh, yeah, yellow and gold everywhere. So now they're doing this black line. Yeah, and they've specifically done it for, for um, people like Dan and Out and people like us who want to um, upgrade our bikes or whatever and they do they do front end f um, forks as well in anodized black and, and stuff so they do really really nice stuff but but I think one of the things that make this bike pop is is the color and and uh, and, and and I love that sort of burnt orange kind of feel and then tidying up the back end getting yeah. rid of all the stuff so they do what's called the traditional chop loop, loop. weld and then yeah. obviously they have to repaint the back end and this is very much a down and out look, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and if you go to their website, there's, there's lots of bits and you don't have to go and, 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 and have it built by them. You can, they do sell bits and pieces that they do. So you can, you can, you can buy bits with that you like and, and, and fit them yourself. You know, they've, they've, they've designed them so that it can, you know, you can do a bit of work yourself. Which is great, but what I love, I love the, the indicators are my favourite. Yeah, the, those are ridiculous. Those aren't just little bolts <laughs> they are holding something on, they're actually indicators. And they're bright as well. Yeah, they are very bright, yeah. So we've got big fat wheels, we've got big wide yokes. Yep. The whole thing is all about scale and presence and looking like a proper big cartoon bike. We kept the original engine and then there's this beautiful paint job using the original tank, the original side panels. Uh, obviously the front end and the back end are all about down and out. Um, but talk a little bit about the details because really what makes a really good custom bike to me quite often is all the tiny stuff. Yeah, yeah, I mean little stuff. I mean, okay, so, so if we work sort of from the, from the front back, you know, from the front I've had a little bit of, I've had a bit of wire mesh put on the, on the, Very important. On the front light just to give it that little bit of sort of scrambly kind of feel to it. Um, and then we've done the little tiny indicators. Um, and they're also the bolts that hold the headlights on. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So the bolts hold the headlight on. Um, you know, we, we changed the handlebars, tidied it all up, put micro switches in, run all the, uh, the wires through the handlebars, um, exhaust system, um, you know, little details like, like just, just cutting these out, making these a bit more of a feature, uh, exhaust, um, seat, the suspension. Seat's lovely, really yeah. nice. Really nice, lovely leather, lovely mm. seat. And with the, with the, the bike itself and, and the fact that you've got a complicated fuel injected bike with maps yeah. and everything, you've kept all the functionality, all of that is still accessible with these yeah. micro switches. Everything, everything is there. So everything that you would normally have on the, on the bike is, is there. And then to change the mapping, they've very cleverly, because they didn't have enough switches here, they, they, uh, they put the switch just here in between. So there's a little nipple just here, which you can press to, to turn it to rain and road. And that's another feature which Triumph have done very well is, is a couple of things I think they've done really well. One, they've gone fly-by-wire. 
so so there's no more there's no more cable for the throttle and then the other thing they've done is 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 they've given a bit of mapping so that if it does rain it, it you can change it to rain it'll just take a little bit of the power off mm. and, and and change the um change the traction control and and, and stuff so all these little features because there's a big there's a big debate about about is there too much um, interference. Too much intervention, yeah. And 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 my feeling is that if, if you're a really good rider, it can it can enhance and help your riding. And if you're a beginner and and not quite sure, it it can it can really help to make you a bit safer. So that if you do do a little bit of a mistake or something, it can it can um, it can help you. Yeah. So so I'm a fan. Of if you're if you're getting a bike, why not yeah, embrace I it? Yeah, I wasn't a fan myself no. because to me it was de-skilling riding. But now now I'm riding bikes that have got maps in them and traction control, you do kind of realize that it does give you confidence yeah. to push that little bit more because otherwise you, you're limiting yourself. But you can really enjoy it if you're going around a corner and you're, you're really gassing it on the, on the corners and it's a little bit shelly. You know, it, with the traction control on these, on these modern bikes now are so good that, that it only, you don't really, in the old days you really noticed traction control coming in. But nowadays it, it comes in so, so lightly if it, if it needs to be that sometimes you, in, you don't even notice unless you actually notice that the light starts flashing mm. when it does come on. And what so you wouldn't expect on a custom bike like this is maps, traction control, <laughs> you know, and, and also an engine you can pretty much take to your local Triumph dealer and they can still service it for you. You know, what they've done with it is a, it's a very powerful, very grunty, good low end. It's that classic twin engine mm. that you expect. And, Proper and talk proper torque and, and it's got lovely noise and, and it, it's and with these pipes especially it has a really nice kind of growly kind of triumph and these are just sound. straight through pipes aren't they from down and out pretty much so yeah. catalytic converters gone the baffles have gone um, this is just let's get let's get the um, let's get the gases out and and uh, you know let the engine do its job yeah yeah absolutely so obviously you're pretty pleased oh just love it. I, I mean, I you, you said to me earlier that although you've got quite a few bikes to choose from, yeah. this is generally the one you're going to get on first for most journeys. Yeah. So I mean, that says a lot. It does say a lot. And, and you know, it's, it's, the, it's, the riding, it's the riding position. It's, it, you know, if, if you were, if you were to, to be looking for a, a first bike, you know, um, or, or a bike that, that you've been on the road for a couple of years and you want something a bit more interesting, you know, the, uh, uh, the Street Twin, the 900 uh, Triumph is... Is really nice, um, and and this one, the T T100 or T120, is is fantastic because you, you can get your feet on on the ground very easily. It's it's comfortable. The the riding position is is interesting. It's it's easy for a commuter. It's it, you can throw someone on the back. You, you know, it's a it's a great kind of all round bike. So really. what you're saying is you've got a really cool exotic custom built by some really good custom builders, no. and actually. This is your brilliant daily practical ride that mm -hmm. you can get serviced up the road at your Triumph dealer, go shopping on it, put the missus on the back, yeah. and, uh, and it could be your do-it-all bike. I mean, Absolutely.